Here on the left, we have Deputy running on a Chrome web browser. And this is used by the owners and managers to set up the business, the sites, departments, staff and their details, as well as the creation and publishing of the rotors, time and attendance management, and more. And on the right is the smartphone app, typically used by the employees to manage their shifts, create timesheets, request time off, and lots more too. The schedule page is a clear and concise way of arranging your rotor for the week or whatever time frame you work to. My list of staff down here on the left have their total hours booked for them so far and any costs associated with that as well. So you've got a great snapshot immediately of who's working where and how much that's going to cost you. The rotor here has all the different shifts in their different departments, but we could also see from the perspective of the employee to say who's working where this week and who's available. Back on the area view, it's very simple to create shifts here. I can either just click into a role that I need, adjust the time, and press save. That's it, super easy. Now, if I assign someone to this shift, Deputy's gonna take six different things into account straight away. Is this person available? Are they already working somewhere else or in a different location? Are they going to go over their contracted hours by claiming the shift? Are they on annual leave? Are they a preferred member of staff? Are they trained to do this role? Or have they marked this day as a day that they'd rather not work? So that all of this information is taken into account before this is even allowed to happen, or at least any warnings are cropping up for us. When the rotor has been completed, you can publish this out. And we can publish everything on screen, or perhaps just the changes that have affected those people since the last publish. As we go through, we can decide who gets these notifications and then how we alert people. So for the most part, you'll be telling the staff where and when they need to work via their email and smartphone. You've got options here. You can request for their confirmation. This is really handy if it's something that's out of the ordinary or a last minute change. So I'm gonna send these notifications out now to the relevant staff members of their changes. There's my pop-up on the smartphone on the right. This will take me to my upcoming changes. Now, I can see I have two shifts that require confirmation. I'm gonna confirm both of those now. That'll alert my manager to say that, yep, I can claim these shifts. Back on the schedule page, and those changes will have been updated automatically. If there's any available shifts for me, I'll see them in my available shift section. There's one here on Saturday that I'm eligible to claim. These work on a first come first serve basis. So you always get your keenest members of staff. I've claimed that one. And my manager has the email to say, Gary has claimed this shift. So everybody's kept in the loop. Very, very useful. We can give the staff a little bit of power to say when and when they can't work based on their own availability. But the manager is always kept informed. This is so valuable. One of our customers saw a huge 57% decrease in the number of no-shows amongst their staff just by using the deputy platform. On the smartphone app, the staff always have the ability to say that they can't work. Tapping here, I get a couple of options to be able to swap and offer these shifts out. If I click swap shift, I'm going to be presented with a list of staff who are recommended to claim my shift and vice versa. So the staff member cannot make an error here. Only the people shown are eligible to claim my shift and vice versa based on all of those preset criteria that we've put into the system about everybody's availability, their contracted hours, whether they're on annual leave, whether they're a preferred member of staff, trained correctly, marked as unavailable. All of these things are taken into account so the staff are only ever going to be able to choose an appropriate person. If I offer my shift to swap with Natalie for these two here, she'll get the notification to say, Gary wants to swap with you. If she's happy to swap one of them, the manager then gets the final say as well. So the communication path between staff and managers is open, it's fast, and there's no longer going to be those errors. Now everybody's been informed of where and when they need to work for this week. I'm happy with this rotor. I can copy this to the next week or multiple future weeks. I can even save it as a template as well, and bring it back anytime I need it again. I can give it a great name and a description, and this will help me understand what I need to bring in for the next time. Let's take a look at the time and attendance features. So we can capture when and where your people work for greater HR compliance, payroll accuracy, and a real insight into your workforce productivity. 
So let's start a shift on the smartphone app here. So it's going to locate my exact position in comparison with my workplace address and capture my start time. That's it. I'm on shift and my manager can keep an idea of who's currently on shift, who's running late and who's scheduled later that day. The timesheets approval page is the perfect overview of my staff's timesheets that they've submitted. I can see who's clocked where and when using the Google Maps snapshot here and what the times were. I have the full power to make any amendments to. The next page will hold all of my approved timesheet data, again per person and location if you like, and a whole host of ways that we can export, including multiple integrations with popular online payroll platforms such as Xero and Sage. Time and again, we'll hear from our customers that the valuable time they're saving by not spending so much time on the scheduling and the payroll means that they can spend their time on growing their brand. Our customers say that the greater accuracy in determining pay has helped establish a really great platform of trust with their staff. Let's take a look at the tasks features. So with my tasks, anybody can create and assign tasks to individual team members or themselves to make managing the workload a lot easier. On the dashboard here, from a manager's point of view, I can easily keep track of any task status. Using a traffic light color code, managers can easily see who completed which task and when, as well as any incomplete tasks remaining. Over on the right, I've got the iPad kiosk up. I'm gonna tap my name, log in, and check my tasks so far. On my checklist, I can tick as I go and complete these, and the manager has full visibility. Easy. Let's take a look at the newsfeed now. So why not give your staff an easy way to stay informed, share important messages and contribute to the workplace conversation. Replace those emails and text messages and phoning around and use the deputy newsfeed. Here with multiple locations, you can manage the communications across these areas, create posts, message individuals or your entire team. And importantly, you can request confirmation that people have read things. This is a great way to keep a track of who has and hasn't read those important messages. So I'm going to post one out here. Over on the right, Chris has got that message. Going to take him to the news feed. It looks like Gary wants him to confirm. I'll do that now. Then back over on the left here, we can keep a track of who has and who hasn't confirmed those important messages.